Hey, good morning everybody. It's Mike and thanks for jumping on here with me this morning. This week we've been talking about the, the lies that we tell ourselves, right? And we've covered a number of them. This morning, kind of a shorter call this morning, but I want to talk about one of the big lies that is told to ourselves in this business. That I can skip the, the marketing actions. You know, I say this is 50% or more of your day every day. It should be. If it's not, that's probably where the problems begin. But 50% or more of my day is spent marketing myself. And some people don't want to do that. They don't like that. <laughs> Nobody asks if we liked it or not, right? Um, so they're trying to get around it by attracting buyers and sellers by buying them. They're trying to buy their customers and because all they want to really do is show homes, go on listing appointments, uh, negotiate offers, and attend closings. But they don't have any customers and they don't want to do all the marketing activities. So they just want to purchase their customers. There's a number of different ways you can do that in this business. It does work. I, I don't argue that you can purchase your business. Uh, Zillow. Uh, Zillow will take 40% of your income right off the top. So the net effect to you ends up being more than half of your income. Um, they'll get on a team because they really don't understand how to buy your business. So they think they're going to get on a team, let the team leader buy your business. Well, you're still going to pay for Zillow or however else that team leader is buying their business, right? Because that's what they're doing. They're just, they're just going to let you pay for it. And sometimes we're big enough suckers to go along with that. Well, I'll get on somebody's team and then they'll provide me with buyers and sellers. Well, where do you think they got the buyers from? They just went to Zillow or OpCity or Realtor.com, any of the things you could have done too, and they bought them. But they're going to let you pay for it, plus you're going to pay them. Well, they're going to give me coaching and mentoring and, yeah, give me a break. Good luck with that. Or if Zillow or getting on some team isn't enough for you, uh, some agents go, relocation. I'm going to be a relocation specialist. Yeah, that by far is the single most expensive way to buy your business. They're going to take 42 to 45% of your income right off the top. Um, some people do it a different way than that. Some people say, well, I'm going to give rebates or discounts back to the customer. So I will give a portion of my commission, sometimes it's more than a portion, back to the buyer at closing. Or I'm going to list people's home at a sharply discounted fee. They're just buying their business. I mean, they're giving away all the profit. And they do, they do. I get to see, they, they like to sit in my office and whine about this. Well, I just don't feel like I'm making enough money for all the work I do. And my answer to that is, well, you're not. Quit giving away all the money. But they expect it. Well, then don't work with them. Well, then what will I do? Oh, well, now we're right back to the marketing conversation. You mean you might actually have to show up and do some work every day and market yourself? Well, I don't like doing that stuff. Well, you picked a really bad business to get into then. I mean, I don't really know what else to tell you other than if you don't like to do that stuff, I guess go buy your business, but you're not going to be very profitable. Does buying your business work? Oh, no doubt. Agents all over the country are doing it. And they think they're so clever giving Zillow 40 plus percent of their income. You know, Agents that do that, they have this all this problem all in common. First, they like to sh they like to outwardly project how great they're doing. Look at all the sales volume I've done this year. Look at the number of homes I bought. Yep, yeah, but you didn't make any money. But you didn't make any money. Here's the other problem they have. Um when those ways of buying your business, when they make a business decision themselves, what are you going to do? When Zillow decides that they're not going to sell zip code coverage anymore, they're now only going to pick out isolated agents to work with in each market. I guess you're out in the cold, huh? Huh. 
or when they decide to greatly increase their fees. I guess you're out in the cold. And by the way, you're going to have to do this throughout your career till the end of time. It's not a temporary fix because you don't work on marketing yourself every day. So you never build up your own book of business. Well, here's the big come on that all these groups give. Yeah, Mike, but it's kind of a loss leader model. So yes, you do have to give us 40 to 60 percent of your income on the first piece of business, but then that's your customer. So when they buy or sell in the future, you don't have to pay us anything on those future deals. And I think that is hilarious. Like people actually buy into that bullshit. Uh, you know, you have to reconcile it against one statistic that the average person in the United States only moves about every 10 to 12 years. So what you're trying to tell me is I should work almost for nothing because agents that are trying to buy their business are lucky to walk away with 25 to 30 percent. Lucky to 25 to 30 percent of the money when it's all said and done after closing. Uh-huh. Huh? They, of all the people involved in that transaction, they by far got the least amount of money. I mean, they did all the work, but they got the smallest check. And this is a strategy? But yes, because Mike, you should do this because then that's your person and anything they do, oh, so I should lose money today so that a decade from now they might hire me again. That's your argument? How about if I do this? How about if I don't do any of that dumbass stuff and I just get up, go to work, spend the first part of my day working on marketing myself and then I save my appointments for the afternoons and then I don't, I keep the money. I don't have to give it to you. Well, don't you feel uncomfortable doing some of that stuff? Sometimes I do. So, I have to do things every day that make me feel uncomfortable. Getting out on these roads and driving in here, that'll make me feel uncomfortable sometimes. I still do it. Buying your business. Oh gosh, if you want to do that, okay. Don't, don't come talk to me about it because I'm just going to try to talk you out of it. You don't have to do that. You don't have to give away 70-80% of your money. You don't. You just have to get out there and make it happen for yourself today.